Today on TQA Weekly, I demonstrate with TrueCrypt how to create your own stealth hidden encrypted partition. Welcome to TQA Weekly. I'm the host, Dee Smith, aka Z Axis. If ever you have any technology questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories, you can always email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. Use my contact form on the website at tqaweekly.com or use the comments box down below if you are watching on a website. Encryption. Useful tool? Yes. Using it wisely? Even better, having an encrypted file container may raise awareness to the fact that you are trying to hide something. If your password is weak enough, people can brute force the password, eventually gaining access to your files that you are trying to hide. Whether it be porn or your bills, doesn't matter. You do not want people to see what's inside. So what do you do? Well, I'm gonna give you a brand new trick. And before I go any step further, tqaweekly.com slash se3ep33 will bring you to the show notes where there are the downloads for anything or even the instructions themselves so you can follow along reading the text instead. So what you're going to be creating today is a stealth hidden partition that doubles as an encrypted file container. So it's an encrypted file partition container. It's gonna be its own partition, but it will not register in the explorer of your windows or anywhere else unless you mount it. So I'm gonna show you how to shrink a partition if you already have all your partitions assigned. I'm gonna show you how to encrypt it using TrueCrypt. I'm gonna show you how to mount it and how to dismount it at high speed. So have fun with this demonstration. So this is gonna occur all within four minutes. Once you have the disk management within Windows Vista or higher open and TrueCrypt open, if you have multiple drives or just one, you're gonna select it. I'm gonna select my F drive. You are going to right click it. You're gonna select shrink volume. It will query for that. And then you will select the amount that you wanna shrink the volume by. Make sure it's not a super huge amount, but enough space that you'll be able to store your stuff in. The reason why you don't want a big amount is you don't want to raise, you don't want to raise suspicion. Once you enter amount, I'm entering one gig, click the shrink button. Once it shrinks, it's going to give you a unallocated space. You will click on this unallocated space and click new simple volume. You will click next on the first part of the wizard. You'll continue pressing next for it if it's indicating the correct amount of space you want. You will not assign a drive letter or drive path. We don't want it to show up in the Explorer. And do not format this volume. So once everything's in and you are happy with it, you click finish. Now with that one gig raw volume, you will actually do something with it. Open up TrueCrypt. You will click create volume, encrypt a non-system partition or drive, click next. Obviously you're gonna to have to allow user access control. You're gonna continue on standard TrueCrypt volume. You're gonna select the device. In this case, the volume you just created that does not have a drive letter. Click okay. You're gonna click next again. Create encrypted volume and format it. It's the first option, it's already selected. Click next. You have a choice of encryption algorithms. I know everybody goes crazy. AES is super cool, but here's a fact. The more you throw at it, the less likely it's to be cracked. So if AES was ever broken or serpent or two fish, you'd be utterly screwed, but there is no perceivable chance that the all become cracked at the same time. So the more, the merrier. I'm gonna select AES, Two Fish, and Serpent all together. You click Next. The space is already defined as we are selecting a partition. And then you put in a strong password. 
It needs to be strong, not something anybody can just guess. No dictionary words, otherwise it's just gonna be cracked open by anybody you don't want inside there. Once you've written it out twice, once to put in the password, the second to confirm, you will click next. And then you click format. Because it's one gig, it will take me less than 15, 20 seconds. There will be a caution, but if it's already empty, just click yes. Now the TrueCrypt volume has successfully been created. Click OK. Click Exit. Now here's the cool thing. If you go to your computer, you won't see the drive here at all yet. You will see that there's a one gig variance in what I just created between my D and F drive, but you won't see it. In my TrueCrypt, I have set it up so that the window pops open automatically and loads as though I just plugged a USB drive. But if you leave it by default, it will show up as an actual hard disk. So that is all dependent on you. To load it, you don't need to like go around and select the devices or the volumes or anything. Just click auto mount devices. And then write in the password. Click OK. and it should load up. In my case, it shows up as drive Y. Now in my computer, it shows up as a removable drive. Now, for those who are wondering, somebody's coming, I need to hide all my crazy stuff that I don't want people to see. Hit dismount all and everything will be unloaded automatically. Even inside the Explorer, they don't show up anymore. And that's it. In five minutes, how to create the partition you required, encrypt it, mount it, and dismount it at high speed. And that's the end of the demonstration. I cut out less than 20 seconds from the whole time, so you may actually like the fact that if you only got 10 minutes to hide a file, follow those instructions, and you will make it be able to encrypt everything you need to and then dismount it before anybody is the wiser. Next week, I shall be demonstrating how to install the latest version of Ubuntu onto a USB key drive that will essentially make it a portable operating system that you can also use as a universal installer for any computer. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this episode. Stay safe and online and have a great day. Thank you for listening to TQA Weekly. Show your support by liking this episode, subscribe to get our latest episodes as they come out, and share with friends and family who may benefit from such a show as this. You may send us your questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories to ask at tqaweekly.com. For our show notes, links to our Android application, alternate means of subscribing to our show, and information on joining our weekly newsletter, head over to tqaweekly.com. Stay safe and online, and have a great day.